Hi everybody! It's been a while since I recorded any tutorial videos, so if I'm a little bit rusty at this, I apologize in advance. I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers, there are quite a few of you, and I just want to say that I am glad that you guys are finding these demos and these tutorials useful. As long as you continue to watch them, I will continue to make them. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that uh, is very near and dear to my heart because I actually enjoy the process of UVW mapping and many of my students and many of my friends always lament uh, the fact that they have to go through that process before they can actually uh, paint or rig or animate a character. So I wanted to put together a short tutorial to just show you the basics of UVW mapping for first for characters and then later on we'll talk about um, UV mapping for hard surface objects as well. So let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is actually not a finished model but one of the low poly studies that I had for uh, my Adrian Brody ZBrush sculpt. But as it stands it will be a pretty good um, demo for the whole UV unwrapping process because it unwraps pretty pretty easily as uh, surprisingly most character heads do people are always intimidated by mapping characters but it's actually not that tough if you know what you're doing so I'm gonna go ahead and select this guy and before I do anything else I'm gonna right click on him and I'm gonna come down here to object properties and I'm going to turn on back face cull just so that um, it doesn't draw the backs of the polygons. So when I see through any holes in the in the character mesh, I'm actually going to see right right through the back of the head. So it's easier to spot where the holes are in your character. When you initially UVW unwrap something, excuse me, especially if it's a character for a game, what you need to do is you need to uh, cap any holes that there are in the character's head, with the exception of obviously the hole down here at the neck. Okay. Uh, if you don't do this, uh, when you actually go through and try to skin this model, uh, the skin process will try to go from, it'll try to originate from one of the eyes or from the mouth or from a nostril or anything that isn't capped. So uh, even if, and again, once again, if, even if you don't know what I'm talking about, just trust me and, and follow along. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cap the eyes. Now this geometry isn't going to be permanent. It's just temporary to uh, keep the uh, skin process from becoming confused. So I'm going to come over here in my modify panel and I'm going to click on sub object border. And I'm going to click on the border of that eye. Then I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click on the border of this eye right here. And I'm going to go ahead and cap both of those guys. So it just throws a temporary end gone in there over that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the mouth. So I'm going to come down here, select that opening, and then just hit cap. Okay. Now I'm going to look around, make sure that I don't have any holes anywhere else in the mesh. And it looks like I'm okay. So once that's done, I'm going to turn off sub-object mode and we can see now that I don't have any points where I'm actually seeing through the cage. So the next step is to actually apply the modifier. I actually have the modifier set up over here in my little buttons here, uh, which you can set up right here under configure modifier set, which is probably going to end up being a separate tutorial on its own. But if you have certain modifiers that you use all the time, you can set up buttons for them here. But for right now, I'm going to assume you don't have that kind of a setup. So I'm going to come up here to the modifier list and I'm just going to drag down until I find the modifier called Unwrap UVW. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to apply that unwrap modifier to my head. Okay. And as you can see, I've already unwrapped this guy once. He has a really nice clean map seam that runs right up the back of his head. See that? And it stops right here at the top part of the forehead, what I call the, the beginning of the drama mask whenever I'm modeling character heads. Okay. Uh, you won't actually have that when you first start out. So what I'm going to do 
right off the bat. And I'm not going to explain how this works, but I'm going to do it just to remove any, any convenient uh, UVW maps that are on here. I'm just going to throw a planar map onto this guy. So I'm deliberately going to sabotage myself here so that we have all of these crazy, weird, kind of messed up map lines. See that? Because one thing that always bugs me about tutorials uh, is that if they're canned and everything goes a little bit too smoothly, uh, because it never works that way for me, it's always a huge pain in the neck. So now that I've actually applied the unwrap modifier and I've done a real good job of screwing up my UVs ahead of time, uh, in the next part of this video we'll talk about how we can actually fix this. Okay, so let's talk about how we fix these messed up UVs, all these little green lines that are traveling all over the face of my character here. Each one of these represents a seam on the UV map. So the first thing that I want to do is I actually want to not look at these green seams. If we come over here and we look at the information that's contained in the uh, Unwrap UVW panel here, there's an option down here under configure and if you have this set up to be single column uh, you're gonna have to do some scrolling to get down to that see it's quite a ways down here it's all the way at the bottom in fact if I come in here and I turn off map seams see it's no longer gonna show me those green lines okay um, if you have the screen real estate I really do recommend dragging this guy out and using the two columns because that way it gives you access to everything at once it's a little easier to see uh, but it does make your main screen a little bit smaller. So the first question is, <clears throat> how do we even begin to approach unwrapping the head? Well, let's talk about the UV editor first. If you come down here and you look in the Edit UVs rollout, if I click on Open UV Editor, what it's going to do is it's going to open this little UV window. And I'm going to come in here and slide the little head over so that we can see both of them at the same time. And what I did to sabotage myself is I hit... I projected a planar map at a weird angle onto my head. So if I come in here and I look at this little one-to-one -one space, and if you use your mouse wheel, you can zoom out. See, what I did was I kind of ripped a piece of my nice unwrap out and laid it out down here in, the, in what's called the one-to-one -one space. That's where this little checkerboard is. And I know that this can be confusing and a little intimidating at first, but if I come up here and you see this little blue box, that says show the active map in the dialog, that is on by default. If you turn that off, what it gives you is this little dark gray outline of a perfect square. Now, the reason why that's a perfect square is, or at least I think this is why, um, from my game-centric point of view, is because in the case of uh, an engine like the Unreal Engine, um, when you're importing maps for characters, you're going to do it in uh, square aspect ratios. So your maps are going to tend to be either 128 by 128, 256 by 256, 512 by 512, and so on. Um, so what the program tries to do is if you come in here and you view the, uh, the entire map for your character's head, if I zoom out here and I come down here to the, to the very bottom left corner, see how I have this vertex option? By default, Vertex is turned on. So if I come in here and I left click and I drag, it's going to select all the vertices on my character. See how that works? And then I can come in here and relocate those guys, move them around, scale them. See? I can scale them non-uniformly if I want. I'm just going to head and hit Control Z to undo that. But I can also come in here and select by polygon. And I want you to notice something, even though this is a little bit confusing, that if I select polygons inside of my Edit UVWs window, I'm also selecting polygons out here in the Modify panel under the Unwrap UVW modifier. So just like your editable poly object has sub-objects, when you apply the Unwrap UVW modifier, you're essentially dealing with the sub-objects of your UVW uh, coordinates for the character. So it's real easy to think of these as polygons and these guys out here as polygons, 
But what was always drilled into my head was to think of these guys as UVs inside of the UVW window and polygons out here. So I'll do my best to maintain the or use the correct, I don't know what the word is, vernacular, nomenclature. Uh, I'll try to keep it on the up and up here. But the first trick that I wanted to show you before we actually start peeling this guy is I'm going to come down here and select polygon. And inside of my UVW window, I'm going to select all of the polygons that are here. And my first move is to come in here and scroll down until we come to this option right here, Arrange Elements. Okay. Inside of Arrange Elements, you've got a, a number of different options. But one of the options down here is called Pack Normalize. And what that'll do if you click it is it will pack all of your UVs inside of that one-to-one -one texture space, whether they're correct or not. Okay. So what I want you to do, and you can feel free to pause the video at this point or rewind it, whatever you need to do, but what I want you to do is I want you to get comfortable moving these UVs around while you're in sub-object mode. Now by default, you'll have this little edit box as your uh, default tool, but up here you can choose move, which will just allow you to move those UVs, or you can choose to rotate them, or you can scale them. Now scale and rotation are going to play a big role in uh, the future of this tutorial when we get into the, the specifics of unwrapping, and especially when it comes to unwrapping something for use in a video game engine. Uh, so just be patient, stay with it, um, backtrack a lot if you have to, but the number one thing that you have to make sure of is that you're comfortable using the tools. So go ahead and familiarize yourself with the move tool, the rotate tool, and the scale tool. It doesn't matter how bad you screw up these UVs because we're going to completely redo them before we're done anyways. Okay, And don't forget about experimenting with the different sub-objects down here. Okay, Moving separate pieces coming in here selecting just edges, moving them, or coming in here grabbing some polygons and just scaling them. And you can also change these tools by right clicking, see? Or if you use W as your shortcut for move, E as your shortcut for rotation, see? Or the letter R for scale. See, now I've made a right mess of that, but that's okay. Cuz like I said, we're going to fix it all in the next in the next part of the tutorial. 